G'day, in this video I'm looking at numbers that are two before or two after a starting number and using a number line to help children to understand this. So number lines are great for small increments, so if we're going to be counting on or skipping over by one or two or three, that's a really good use for a number line because they're close together, it's easy to see, and it matches with the sequence of number names. Uh, which we'll come back to. So here's a range of questions that all involve two more or two less um, and we're using a variety of language so you will know where your students are up to and what language they are ready for developmentally as they go for it. So you could say what is two after three or seven and two more or two more than three that sort of thing start on three skip on two more what number do you get to that sort of thing. Four plus two we don't necessarily have to have an equal sign and a box and all those sort of things. We could just say, what's the answer to this question? Four plus two. So the plus becomes the new learning, the new symbol they need to know, because that means add together um, and so on. This is an equation with an equal sign. Two less than, two before, six take away two. And then this one where we have what's called a missing add and something plus two equals nine. So we can use a number line for all of those, for all of those questions. I would encourage you to have your student, your child, use the number line themselves, let them figure out where to start, let them figure out which way to skip, correct them if they make a mistake. But the whole point here is to help them to understand it for themselves. Once that's done, once the students are able to do these questions using a number line, then you want to encourage them to do it without a number line. So in this uh, instance, we're then asking the child, can you do it in your head? So if I say what is two more than eight, you want them to think in your head, can you picture eight or can you think of the number eight, the name eight? What's the next one after that? What's the next one after that? So count on by two, that sort of thing. So all these are different ways of expressing the same basic idea that we have two numbers that are two apart from each other. A number line will get your students started on that track and then we want them to do it in their head. And finally, eventually down the track, we want them to learn to memorize those number facts.